is breached. Fighting in the passages. Screams of the dying. Yes, dying peasants, though, don't we think? Footsteps coming closer. They're at the door. Oh, dear. Humble Joan, I challenge you to single combat. A fighting queen at last! Your throne is lost. When I was a girl, I watched my father punish traitors. He would cleave off their arms and shove them up their asses. That's nice. And then he would cleave off their asses and shove those up whatever remained. Greetings, peasants! Your queen needs clothes. My name is Bobbick. We'll walk to Fingerstone Rock to find new soldiers for the Queen. You're gonna need a horse. They all died. A dragon, then? Yeah, they're not real. <laughs> Cough. Someone's helping her. Someone clever. I was born in a bin. When we were little, we couldn't afford clothes, so we made our own out of nettles. Ouch. That was my first word. It's all over for Queen Dagon. Absolutely fantastic. If I were to compose a ranking list of my favourite evil tyrants, she'd never make top 20. Let's not be too hard on her. Nailed on bottom five. Bottom two, even. I have heard she lurks here in the East. And she's done poos in your well. She doesn't do that. <laughs> Please don't leave me. Sick of safety. Sick of safety. Eat my jellyfish! Who threw that? Who dares to defame your queen? Feet first. place is either Dagon or Magnus the Flagellator. <laughs> and Magnus did a lot more charity work than people remember. They're sort of overshadowed, you know, by the flagellations.